Hey, this is Cameron. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. Today I'm right by my chicken coop and I have a question for you. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get into the new coop and run! Let's get busy! Ah! <laughs> So chickens need a certain amount of space in order to feel happy about things, in order to not be stressed, and not start pecking at each other. And so one of those components is how much coop space. And so there's an internal amount of space where they've got like roosting area and some nesting boxes here. I totally would have designed this differently had I done this again. But then they need a certain amount of run space. And for, I think it's something like three and a half or four feet or something like that of run space per chicken. Maybe it's eight feet, I don't remember what the number is. But I calculated that if we're gonna oh, really double the amount of chickens, then we wanna double the amount of space available to those chickens. And so um, up until this point, they've had this entire space to run all down here, this huge footprint. And we wanna make sure that they and the other chicks have plenty of space to roam around. What? All right, so I'm out here with my neighbor Thomas now, a couple of weeks ago, well, a few months ago, we got some new chicks that we started like this big. They were day old chicks and then they've grown into the, some lovely young ladies. Mm -hmm. The problem is that we've been doing so much work out here that um, in order to add them to this existing coop, we need to create more space so that way the, they don't all start fighting each other. And uh, we haven't been able to do that because the yard has been torn up. I mean, it, up until a couple of days ago, this ground here was a giant trench. And so we weren't able to accomplish that. Today, I'm gonna to be taking and swapping out this, uh, this side of this coop, and we're gonna extend the chicken run to give them lots of space to run around because we're going in our coop from five chickens to 12 chickens. We've got six of one kind of hen and another of another kind. So we've got a lot of work. We've gotta clear this space out and then begin building a frame. What we're going to do is using just uh, two by threes, we're going to extend this coop and take it all the way to the wall. It's gonna be eight feet across this way. And then, you know, whatever that is, six feet down or whatever, um, covered with chicken wire. And so we're gonna get working on that. Okay, something we're running into here is that as we are wanting to open this up. I'm wanting to build it from this direction out to that direction, but the chickens are all gonna escape from here if that happens when I open up this, you know, this chicken wire. So what we're gonna do is run those chickens out of there and into one of our little like garden <laughs> protection boxes as a little mobile coop. So Thomas is in there chasing the chickens around. This is gonna be easier said than done. Oh uh, yeah, it is. Here, I'll just film it. You, you're doing a great job, Thomas. Thank you. Keep up the great work. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. First one. Happy Let's... Thanksgiving, Cameron. Yeah, I would probably say 15 pounds. That's a hefty chicken. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> gotcha. In you go, Fluffy. Here. Fluffy is not impressed. Why? Okay, three down, two to go. All right, chicken cam. You got one? Yep. All right, open up three, two, one, one go. go. Oh. Oh. They're there. Looking good, girls. Enjoy the shade. Okay, so Thomas and I were just taking forever to get those crazy staples, those poultry staples out of the cross beam. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that chicken wire. We're just peeling it out. So now it's gonna be coming across this way and that's gonna be doing some of the work for us. So not actually as bad as I initially thought. Um, but it did take a bunch of work to do that. Now comes the fun part, the framing. Boy, this is turning into quite the project here. We got the whole crew out here, all tending to the chickens. We got all this wood that we're cutting. Daddy, and where's the small chicken? The small chicken, hold on, we'll tell you in a minute.
Yeah, so we're about to frame this uh, coop. We've got all the wood cut and everything. Hey, why don't you uh, take a minute right now as we're getting this framing done, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like what's going on on this channel, we'd love to have you. Um, hit that like button too. That makes us and other people know that you think this video is pretty great. And uh, anyway, we're gonna keep building. Okay, so we finally got this thing mostly framed out and we've raced it down there on the ground and we've attached it to the existing coop. Now what we need to do is kind of race through here and just get this um, chicken wire, this kind of, I don't know what it is, one inch chicken wire, poultry wire they call it. And that's gonna keep the chickens in, pro not really big enough to get keep rats and stuff out because they can squeeze through those little holes, but whatever. <laughs> they'll, they'll find some other way in. So we're, now we're gonna get cracking on that and we're hoping to get those chickens in here. So we have completed a bunch of this coop. Most of it, what, 90% of it? Yep. 95% of it. We've gone through, we have done all of the framing in here. We have done, put on this chicken wire, this poultry wire. Thankfully we have this wall we don't need to do anything with. Um, what we're doing right now is securing it just with staples and a staple gun, but then I'm gonna be using those uh, poultry staples that you take and hammer in to hold it a lot better. We are going to also, where we've kind of had to, with these zip ties, I don't know if you can see it, mesh, the, um, mesh those things together and so I'm gonna go through with like a galvanized wire and just weave the way up so that way it turns that into a single thing. Um, what else, am I forgetting anything? This is looking really good. I'm really excited for the amount of space in here and that's gonna be perfect for all of these chicks and chickens that we're gonna have. Um, hey, well anyway, that's the end of this episode of The Busy Gardener. Thanks for tuning in. Um, what ideas have you got? Have you raised chickens before? We've had chickens in our little kind of small coop over there for years, eight years, eight and a half years now. And this is kind of a new thing um, to do it like this. So excited to see what thoughts you have. Um, and if you guys want, I'll do a more in depth of what our chicken coop actually has, how we do the feeding and the watering and stuff. Let me know if that's what you're interested in doing. Anyway, we're gonna just finish this up and then we're gonna let the chickens in. Stay tuned for that in a minute because you're gonna see them running around and we're happy about that. Hey, well, whether you've got one chicken in your garden or backyard or 500, until next time, stay busy.